So, I might have found a fix for the flickering issue on the Acer Nitro XV252QF when using 390 hertz. So, first of all, what was my problem? Obviously, if you have the monitor and you have problems, you know why you're here. My screen was flickering like shit. Sometimes because of playing long sessions, sometimes because my GPU was loaded heavily, sometimes it just happened randomly. So, what did I do to fix it? Uh, first of all, I tried multiple things like switching ports on my graphics card and getting new cables. Spent like 100 euro on different cables. None of them worked, like some of them helped a little bit, but it still happened very often. So what I did then to fix it completely, which I've been using, like I've been using that, that method that I'm going to show you now for about a month, a month and a half, and I hadn't my screen flickering once since then. So what you're going to do is you're going to go into your NVIDIA control panel, and sadly, this only works for NVIDIA cards, so I'm sorry if you have an AMD card uh, or an Intel card if you get onto that video later when Intel releases their GPUs. Uh, but if you have something something similar to that in your control panel, Radeon software or Intel software, you can try that, obviously. So what you're going to do is you're gonna create a custom resolution for your monitor. So that is the 390 Hertz. I'm gonna click on customize. Uh, thing is for me right now, create custom resolution is grayed out. I can't create a custom resolution because I have my display duplicated with my Elgato 240 Hertz capture card on my second PC. So I can't create a new resolution, but I can change my existing resolution. So if you have a if you if you have a split display, then unlink it or extend it, except then go to your monitor, customize. If not, just go to customize. Then you're gonna create a custom resolution. I'm gonna edit mine, you're gonna go create a new one. And what you wanna look for is the the timing here. Up here it should all say like 1920, oh, 1920 by 1080, refresh rate 390, scan type progressive. Then in the timing field, your standard will be set to automatic. Go change that to manual. Leave all the, the values here up here completely alone and go to the polarity. In the polarity, your, your horizontal and vertical should be set to either negative negative or positive negative. Now change that to negative positive. Click on test. It won't let me because I have a dual PC setup right now run with running with the, the Elgato capture card. So I can't test or create anything there. Uh, I don't know why it is like that. Um, but yeah. Your, your resolution will will yeah your your custom created resolution will apply once then you will click on yes keep that resolution and I don't know if you have to click uh, okay again but if so click okay again and then click okay here as well and then you're gonna see you have a custom resolution here with 390 hertz and another custom or not another custom resolution but you have a 360 hertz resolution uh, right here and you won't have the 390 hertz resolution on your on your normal like normal pc resolution thing down here so you're gonna select this select 390 if it has some more values there obviously if not then you can just leave it there and then you click on apply and then you click on yes. For me, it didn't change anything because I already had that set, but that's how I fixed my issue at least. 
uh, yeah, let me know if it fixed it for you. And if you have a similar fix for, for Radiant software, uh, post it down in the comments below and I'll heart that comment. If that actually works for you, please don't just write something stupid down there. And yeah, I hope that video helped you. I hope it helps to fix the issue for you. Uh, if it did, please leave a like, subscribe maybe. And yeah, thank you for watching.